One of the most common and most impactful use cases in passive RFID is IT asset tracking. The assets are self-evidently valuable, both in terms of their sheer cost and the vital and sometimes very secure data that can lie within. Major enterprises, from communications companies to hospitals to governmental departments, from law offices to manufacturers to financial institutions, all of them have a substantial investment in all things IT. Servers, laptops, storage, and all the attendant cabling, accessories, plugins, everything needs to be cataloged, tracked, and maintained, not only to prevent financial loss, but also to keep chain of evidence intact, to secure vital personal and corporate data, and to understand which employees are interacting with physical IT equipment, how often, and at what time. But how to do it? Barcoding is dependent upon human decision-making and whim. Active RTLS systems are expensive and are hard to scale downward to smaller facilities. The answer, the best answer, is UHF Passive RFID. Here are three approaches. The combination of any two of them will provide optimum coverage at minimum cost. 1. A fixed reader infrastructure. Reader antennas are placed at the in and out choke point. Reader antennas are placed in the ceiling. All equipment is tagged with both an ID serial number and a number in the same field indicating its physical location. Equipment is continuously monitored from the ceiling and movement in and out of the room is tracked at the doorway, including the RFID badged employee. 2. A mobile reader cart for cycle counting the inventory. A reader in an antenna structure is placed on a rolling cart. All equipment is tagged with both an ID serial number and a number in the same field indicating its physical location. As the cart is rolled down each aisle, the reader reads all tags to clarify inventory and location. 3. A handheld reader. Commissioned with asset tracking software, the software we are using for this demonstration is from Tagit, a great asset tracking partner of Aliens. Their software is called TagView. Used in place of the cart, the employee quickly reads all tags with a handheld. Data is sent to the host either immediately via 802.11 wireless or in batch form via a charging cable or data cradle. By utilizing a combination of these scenarios, an IT manager gains visibility, inventory accuracy up to 99%, and data security. One tricky thing about RFID implementations in the IT data center is the material you are tagging. It can be an odd mixture of metals and plastics. With laptops, you have the added element of the LCD display. It then follows that much of the tagging in the data center is done with what are called metal mount tags. There is one hard and fast rule about RFID. You cannot read through metal. You can read tags placed on metal, but those tags have to be separated from the metal by a spacer, usually a thin layer of silicon material. If it's a harsher environment, you would use an encapsulated metal mount tag, a tag encased in plastic. The good news is that if you are using a metal mount tag and have placed it properly, read range will be helped, because in effect, the metal the tag is affixed to can become a huge antenna. This is when an experienced RFID integrator can really be of help, testing and retesting to get proper tag placement and reader configuration to ensure enough reading power to get 100% of the tags, but enough control to eliminate unwanted cross-reads, which are reads of tags you don't want to read.